Hi, I'm Silvio and welcome to another video. All along last season, I've told you countless times that one of the main keys for succeeding with your Christmas villages is the ability to adapt. Let's talk once again about it. When it is off season and you start planning and visualizing your next project, you often clash with the fact that brands such as Lemax or Department 56 or Louisville don't offer everything you may need to finalize your project. A quick and easy example, I've seen plenty of projects during the years populated with cars, all sorts of cars, and they all came from sources completely disconnected from Christmas Village producers. By the way, please, I beg you, try to avoid all sorts of anachronism in your Christmas villages, especially if it is a Victorian era Christmas village. A Ford T car model is acceptable, not a 1967 Shelby Cobra nor a 2021 8 12 Superfast Ferrari. And try also to respect as much as possible the scale of your project. 10 or 20 years ago, boats, sailing boats, arbors and all related figurines were common items from every Christmas village producer. But today they are priceless rarities and you risk to spend three years of budget on a couple of items. So during the past months I panicked, I really panicked when I couldn't find what I needed uh, for my Arbo section, for my 2021 Arbo section project, especially boats and uh, sailing boats. Yes, I know that in the past weeks I've shown you that you can easily build a rowing boat uh, starting from some uh, small pieces of styrofoam, but uh, building from scratch a sailing boat will be time consuming. Yes, very, very achievable, but also very, very time consuming. <laughs> Luckily, around mid March, after a couple of sleepless nights spent on a desperate online search, I found on Amazon this sailing boat kit. Maybe fishing boat kit? I don't know. I don't care right now. Yes, all need to be painted and assembled, sorry, assembled and painted, but I think it has the right uh, dimension, the right uh, design and the right scale to fit my 2021 project. Uh, let's see if I'm right. Hi guys, so here we go with the uh, kit, with the sailing boat uh, kit. I will show you if I can what uh, we are supposed to achieve. This is a sailing uh, boat. I think this is a kit for kids. Sorry for children, uh, but I can. I think I can adapt it to fit in my uh, project in my 2021 project. It's just a matter of scale, I think, and design. This is maybe Victorian era, late Victorian era design and the scale, I don't know yet, but I think I can achieve the colors. I don't like the colors, but this is not a path I must follow. I can diverge from it if I want, so uh, maybe I not, maybe surely I will change some of the colors. Uh, we have some pole there, some sail here, some ropes and everything else. Let's see what we have inside the box. Okay, first thing, we have some colors. I think, yes, this could be, those could be uh, acrylic colors and we have some red, uh, yellow or gold, blue, green, white and black. Yes, acrylic colors. Then a small plastic bag here containing some or uh, all of the pieces I will need to complete the project. Everything is plain wood, but this is not wood. What can it be? 
Ah, oh, brown. Yes, this is some sand paper. Why sand paper? I need to think for a little bit on it, but here we have some of the pieces. Then, what I also have inside another, uh, a couple more plastic bags. Here we have some. Uh, some uh, gold uh, hook, some gold rings there, some black uh, tape I think, yes, some tape and some more item here. Then I have another plastic bag with some fabric inside. Let's see if it is fabric. Yes, this is fabric. Oh yes, this can be the sale here, uh, the sale around the pole there of course some other rounded things i don't know yet and these some sewing thread yes this can be this is a, a spool a sewing machine a pool with some um, thread uh, sew sewing thread there i think that these will be used as a simulate uh, the rope there Okay, okay, this can be used, I think, of course. I have some notice there. Uh, very small written, it is in German. Yes, this is Deutsch. All is in German. And uh, some mountain notice there, some mountain notice with some pictures. But everything, yes, uh, Masten, Olse Steben, Unterschrieben, Dichler, Lenge, yes, all it's in Deutsch, in German. Achtung! Uh, Nicke Geimnette für Kinder unter 3 Jahren. This kit is not suitable for kids mm -hmm. under 3 years of age. Actually, I'm way over 3 years of age. So I think I can get it. These are all the steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine steps to follow. So let's see if I can follow it. The pictures are too small, really small. I don't know if you can appreciate it, but they are very, very small, small pictures. Yes, this is uh, intended for small kids, but uh, too, too, too little for small kids. Kids need to see, but they are supposed to be followed by adults. So I think that this notice could be useful. Then what I have, I have a stick there. Ah, yes, this is. Sorry. Ah, yes, this is some. Uh, some white glue, some PVC glue, I think, in order to glue all the pieces together. I don't think this is enough. Maybe yes, maybe not. I don't know yet, but don't worry. I have always with me my uh, white glue, my, uh, <laughs> my trusted white glue there. So, this is a stick with some glue. Ah, yeah, finally. The profile, the profile of the boat there. A narrow boat, yes, a narrow sailing boat, but it could have the right uh, design. I don't know yet. Let's proceed. Oh, yes, now I know what is intended the, the sanding paper. Uh, the wood is very rough here. So, if you decide to paint with acrylic colors the wood without sanding it before, you risk the... Um, it, it is very porous, so you risk to not add enough uh, colors to mask all the wood there and you risk to, that the wood will continue to appear be, uh, um, um, behind the colors, beneath the colors. So, you first need to sand all the paper in order to have the surface as polished as possible and so it will use less color to paint it. Okay, now it is clear why I have some sanding paper there. 
Um, and also here I have a pattern to follow, I think, here, that th this will be the, mm, the middle edge, the middle level of the eight of the both there, and the, I think this is, will be the pattern we need to follow with some black, I think. Yes, with some black, and this is the pop top profile. Some holes in the main, uh, main section here. Uh, a, a cut edge. Oh yes, for the from from for the front of the boat there. The oars for everything. They are not completely aligned. These three. I don't care sincerely right now. I will need to check if I can <coughs> um, build everything. If I can mount everything together. Then uh, some other notice. Ah, uh, sorry guys, I haven't seen that before. This is in English, I think. No, this is in French. Sorry, attention, ne convient pas aux enfants de moins de trois ans. So you have a uh, notice in German, in Deutsch, and then a notice in French. Maquette chalutier assemblé. Uh, yes, French and German. I think this could be only a product uh, uh, sold in Europe on Amazon, but I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, I will put a link for you in the description just down below the video. So, French and German. Then, oh, I don't think this is intended or not. This is another tube of, uh, of glue there. Ah, yes, this one is like that, and this other one is different. Maybe you, I will need a two tube of, um, of uh, uh, glue, of white glue, I don't know. This one is the starting one, I think, because yes, it has a, sm a small top, a small uh, top there, a corner to the top there, that will be used to glue everything together. Okay, so I have two tubes of glue and finally a brush. A brush. I don't think I will use it to glue everything together. I think it is supposed to go with the colors in order to paint everything. But don't worry, as always, I don't think I will use especially these colors here. Maybe I will use some of my colors. Okay, so for my benefit, I am more at ease with French than, than instead of German, so I think I will follow the uh, French, um, the French uh, notice there in order to do everything together. I will start from somewhere. Let's start from from here. Let's start from here. Yes, let's start with the sending paper. Let's go. You never feel the way I feel. You don't know if my love is real. Baby, listen to me. Here's the deal. When you're not here, I'm
Lately my thoughts got me distant Darker days filling up darker minds Stuck in this room that keeps spinning Wondering how you been, where you hide Late night drinking, wishful thinking What if you were here? Morning waking, heart still aching Something about the way you make me feel I don't wanna mess up your night I don't wanna put up a fight I don't wanna trouble you, babe But I gotta say I don't wanna waste no Day.
think that this is the result before painting, okay? Not very easy to achieve. I, uh, you have seen that this is not very easy to achieve, especially without any indication on how to uh, use the roping system there, the rope system. But uh, I think that this is not perfect, but also not a bad result. Uh, I still need to paint everything because I don't like sincerely it like that. So I will go with some uh, painting in just uh, some minutes. I'm just waiting to uh, everything to dry a little bit more. Then I will start uh, painting uh, painting everything. Okay, so see you in just a few moments. Thanks. So guys, uh, here we go, some minutes. Uh, after 20 minutes, I think, yes, it is enough, uh, the glue has enough dry to go towards it. So, I will go step by step. Now, I will start with the bridge here. I don't like it, it is too light. This color is too light. I will go and try to darken a little bit the uh, black there. N not the black, sorry, the, the brown there, so, okay? I will try to make a mixture of uh, uh, brown and white. Well, let's go with some brown and some white.
your eyes tell me that you don't wanna leave just yet no my eyes agree it's almost like when we first met oh i don't care it's getting too late i want you and i can't wait don't wanna spend a minute without you i know you feel the same so come on give me love I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body Come hit me with your touch and make me wanna say Damn. And yeah, you know what's up Ain't nothing I won't do, I won't do for your body So give me all you got right now I know I'm yours, baby So come give me love You know you're mine, baby So come give me love When I'm with you, my legs go weak, yeah. Can you hear it? I think my heart just skipped a beat, yeah. This feeling is getting so strong Love me till the morning, love me all night long There's something special about you You're the one that... Hi again, guys. A little surprise here. I needed to check if the saving boat I just finished will match the other items in the uh, arbor section and if it will fit the arbor section. So I brought to the scene a couple more items, my golden eagle here and my uh, rowing boat. Golden eagle, I've already shown you uh, it when I've received the package and uh, a little bit, a little difference, a little restyling I made because uh, it wasn't in a very good shape when I received it, so I repainted here and there and I repainted some items, but it is showing the age. It has, because this item is from 2005, so it has almost 20 years of age. And my uh, rowing boat here, I've shown you how to build it some weeks ago. The uh, rowing, the, not the rowing boat, sorry, the sailing boat, I've painted it uh, blue, red, white, and some uh, black, uh, dark brown, uh, light brown, because I wanted the bridge to be as old as possible, as um, used as possible, as aged as possible. So I've repainted the bridge roughly with some of the, the, those colors. Then the profile is uh, done uh, and you have uh, seen in it some minutes ago. So, shape, design, dimension, uh, scale, will it fit? Maybe yes. I need the Golden Eagle to be the masterpiece of the uh, arbor section. I need it to be the biggest element in the arbor section. Is it the case? Yes. The length is almost the same, but the Golden Eagle is still the bigger than the uh, sailing boat. Uh, width? Yes, it is. Uh, almost acceptable and also uh, the design of mm, not too uh, young, <laughs> not too modern, not too old. I don't like sincerely this part here because I think this is something similar to an ancient Viking boat, but I can't avoid it because the mounting kit was made as this. So I will accept it. Uh, I still have another boat like this, but I don't know yet if I will use in my uh, arbor section. Uh, very difficult to uh, use the sprocket, the spool uh, with the uh, threading, uh, the uh, sewing thread because I think it doesn't enough uh, thread uh, in it, even if I or so I got um, some more pieces there that I haven't used that I don't use maybe, but I don't think it could have fitted all the roping system that is shown in the picture here. Very complex to accomplish, no notice at all, so I went uh, 
very very uh, freely and I don't eat as a, I feel to be done but I don't think it is a bad result at all yes the rowing boat is a bit larger than everything else but uh, I think that the scale is almost there or at least with the golden eagle this can be compared I this should be the right dimension of a rowing boat but uh, you know that uh, every figurines I will put here will be <laughs> a different scale will be uh, bigger than the golden eagle maybe this eight years so <laughs> the figurines won't fit but this is a, a, um, a standard for the Lemax collection the items are always uh, smaller or bigger in comparison with uh, if they are compared with the uh, figurines so it is acceptable this one too is acceptable so I think I will use these uh, rowing uh, both and these uh, sailing boat in my uh, arbor uh, session once again I've adapted so guys uh, few seconds and I will go with my outro as always. Thank you. And finally my outro guys, please excuse me. You know why, because of the length of this video, but I can't produce anything shorter. Sorry. The final result here, the uh, sailing boat completely done, completely painted and uh, you have just seen it compared to the golden eagle and the rowing boat. The question, the big question, do I have adapted? Yes, I think so, I have adapted. So why have I panicked? Because <laughs> during the search and it really took me two sleepless nights to find it on Amazon. I was really panicked because it seems that the, I had no solution at all for my arbor section. But then this come up, this came up and finally, Eureka, I have the solution. So another big lesson for me, another big lesson for you, maybe never, never be desperate, never despair in your life. There is always a solution. And once I've completed it, I really think that it will fit my 2021 project. I hope at least. So, as always, please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English. And if you wish, see you next time.